Hello everyone, once again this is Teacher May and I hope that you all are ready to listen as we discuss our lesson for today. Now we will be discussing and learning about pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon. Okay? Ready? The moon is the only natural satellite of Earth. It is the fifth largest object in the solar system. And, yes, it is the brightest object in the Earth's sky. That is after the sun. Now, the moon goes through eight major phases. One is the new moon. It is seen when the moon is between the sun and the earth. Look here. Number two is the waxing crescent moon. It is when the moon looks like a crescent and the crescent increases in size from one day to the next. Now, the third phase is the quarter moon or we call it half moon. It is when the half of the lit portion of the moon is visible after the waxing crescent phase. It comes a week after the new moon. Now, our fourth is the waxing gibbous moon. It occurs when more than half of the lid portion of the moon can be seen and the shape increases in size from one day to the next. This phase occurs between the first quarter and the full moon phase. Now, what number are we? We have the number five, that is the full moon. It is when we can see the entire lip portion of the moon. The full moon phase occurs when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun. It is called the opposition. Do you know that a lunar eclipse can only happen at full moon? Now, number six, this phase is called the waning gibbous moon. It occurs when more than half of the lit portion of the moon can be seen and the shape this time decreases in size from one day after the other. This phase occurs between the full moon and the third quarter phase. Now, we have the number seven. This phase is called last quarter moon or we also call it half moon. It is when half of the lit portion of the moon is visible after the waning gibbous phase. Now, 
Let's see the last phase. Number eight is the waning crescent moon or crescent moon. It happens when moon looks like a crescent and that shape decreases in size from one day to the next. Okay, is that clear? That's our lesson for the day today and I hope you understand and learn something new today. Again, thank you and once again this is Teacher May.